wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Welcome. My name is Nicole. If you're new, I love everything home. I like all kinds of styles, but I am going to share with you all kind of where I'm going with my decor in this house. And, you know, I think over the years, I was talking to another collector the other day, and she said that your, your style evolves as you get older. And I think that I have finally found my style. You know, I've been adding a lot of heirlooms of my family. So I will share all of that in a future video with you all. But today, for the last couple of weeks, we have been working in both of our guest bathrooms. So we have one half bath off of our entryway and then one full bath off of a guest bedroom. So the half bath, I, I didn't like the tile countertops when we first got into the house. So I wanted to replace that. And I was lucky enough to be able to do that. I did do remnants because it was a little less expensive. And I put new sinks, new faucets, and I've painted the cabinetry. So one bath, I'm almost completely finished. The guest bathroom, the full guest bathroom, I have not. But I have filmed throughout these last couple of weeks to let y'all see, you know, kind of where we started and where we're, where we're headed but I do wanna decorate a little bit in the front half bath with you guys. My husband is going to put a shelf in that front entryway bathroom. We've not been able to do that. He's actually outside bush hogging this morning and that's how I was able to film my intro. So I have videoed, like I said, over the last couple of weeks, I'm gonna share with you all through that process. And then at the end, we're gonna decorate that half bath in the entryway. Thank y'all for joining me today. Um, keep sticking with me. We've got a lot of things going on. Still something big that I haven't shared with you guys, but that will come in the next couple of weeks. Let's get started. So I have everything unpacked or packed up out of here and I am starting to take the countertop down, out with the sink out. We are getting new countertops in this bathroom and our other guest bathroom. I don't know if I've ever showed y'all this bathroom, but it is not my favorite. It has wood, or excuse me, brown tile, and it went all the way up here. And I think I have a clip to show y'all of what it looked like before. Look at this black stuff that was behind the mirror, and it's pulling the sheetrock off. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about a mirror, but this has got to go. All oh, this is going, we're going to put granite countertops and a new sink. So this is now what it looks like. I took, and I'm pointing, there was a little piece right here that made that cabinet angle. And I took that off, we're going to square it off. Basically, now the corner is going to, we're going to have that corner because I need the countertop space. They're gonna do a smaller sink in here. It's gonna be a round one. I've got to figure out how to get this black stuff off behind the sink area because I wanna hang a mirror there, but boy howdy, that looks bad. I 
have some touch-ups to do on the bottom. I had my husband and I just mounted the doors, the cabinet doors back on, and I put my drawer in, back in to see the difference from the repose gray and the color that was here. I love this color so much better with the granite. I think it brings out, you know, a lot of the different colors. And then we painted the walls alabaster white. So let's finish up this. This bathroom is a complete mess. I still have the doors off the bottom, but I painted this cabinet white. And then I painted all the walls white. I was gonna get a new mirror, but it was hard to find one to fit here. So I decided against it. And I bought me a piece from Target that's gonna go right there. I had to tape it off to see, and I'm gonna kinda of go around. I'm not finished. We did buy a new toilet to go in here. That's not very attractive. And I'm thinking about putting some shelves right here. What do y'all think? So I'm dealing with brown tile on our shower area that I don't particularly care for, but I'm going to work with it because that's what I have. So I'm doing all bronze and black fixtures in here. I think it's going to be really pretty. I've ordered me some curtains. I'm not gonna get crazy in this bathroom. You can tell that I've already hung my two vintage pictures. They were, these were kind of mimicking the pictures that I have of my great grandmothers. I bought them from my sweet friend, Allie, off of Rusty Ridge Vintage Instagram. If you don't follow her, y'all need to. I buy a lot of things from her. But you'll see in this bathroom, and I'm sorry about the mirror, you can see your reflection, but you can see in this bathroom, I have added wood pieces. These wood pieces came off of my great grandfather's barn. This was my mother's side of the family. And so I'm adding that throughout. And let me back up the camera. I'm gonna show you what my idea in this bathroom is. Y'all remember I did this bathroom with the vinyl, um, paneling in here. I think I spent a hundred dollars on all this stone look uh, panels in here. Really fun project, very tedious, but I, I've always wanted to trim out the edges. So I watch, uh, I don't know if y'all ever watch her, but Pine and Prospect, uh, she is absolutely extremely talented and her husband does a ton of uh, would work for her and um, he's talented as well. God love him. But I've seen how she's done her beams. So in her entryway. So what my husband and I have come up with, I have more of this old barn wood of my great grandfather's. And what I want to do is trim out the edges and maybe do some corbels, you know, just to dress it up to make it look even more rustic. So that is my plan in this bathroom. I do want to do a shelf on this wall, but today I'm going to do a little decor on, on our countertops here, and I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. But I am pulling in more of the um, brass feel in here, and I'll tell you why. So when I took the, the cabinets apart, and something just told me to soak off the paint on the um, hinges. And when I did, I feel like I'm talking to the wall. And when I did, I noticed that they were brass. So I thought, you know, this is an older house. Why don't I add the brass in at least this bathroom, if not the other? So I have added the brass in here. I love it. I can mix in blacks. I can mix in coppers. I can mix all of that in. And I'll show you where I'm going to mix the copper when we start decorating. But I guess we need to get started decorating, huh? So this little corner area, I like to fill in. But I have this vintage mirror base with the brass. See how cool that is? Um, and I wanted to do that in the center. I used to use this tray in our bathroom, but when I saw how it matched all this other, I thought it needed to be in here. Now, you know I love the blue and white, and so I wanna add that. Have this really pretty picture I'm going to add. Let me show y'all that. Let 
recently bought these in North Alabama at a uh, antique store. I have never seen bowls like this. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom, but absolutely gorgeous. I got four of them and um, I've never seen that. Handles on either side, you see that? And I was just gonna put that for more pop of color and we do have a guest bedroom on this side. So I was thinking they could put their jewelry in that when they uh, take their makeup off at night. So I wanna add some greenery in here. This is just a fern piece that I have had for quite some time. And I'm just gonna pop that in there. To me, that is beautiful, just like that. Moving over next to the sink. You can see I added this. I'll link this down below. This is off of Amazon. It is Blue Willow Soap and Lotion. It smells absolutely wonderful, but I loved the blue and white to add in here. So I am going to put that right front and center. I did do chrome faucets in here. I like a um, eclectic look. So I just, and I, honestly guys, chrome is a lot less expensive. And I have the chrome um, light above, as you saw in the first clips. But I want to add something on this side. And I have this really sweet copper, uh, a copper bucket that I bought. It's got the blue and white top. I do have a little cloth down in there, and I'll show you why. But I thought this was pretty because it's got brass and copper and blue and white. So this is like my dream all in one. <laughs> but I'm gonna put that over to the side and then I have a half sphere that I'm just gonna put in there. I love any kind of greenery, y'all know that. And I read somewhere that people don't like faux greenery, but if you buy and spend a little bit more, more money on good faux greenery, what a good investment you have because you can use it over and over. Now I do want a little pop of blue down here below just to add a little bit more. So I have this, these are my pumpkin blue and white that I call them because that, to me they look just like pumpkins. But I had bought this from an estate sale and I'm just going to put that right there. That is all I'm doing on this countertop. So I'll let y'all get an up close good look see. So you can see that I have my vintage prints from that artist. I can't see it, I don't have my glasses on, I'm so very sorry. But then my really pretty vintage, it's, it's not brass, but it looks kind of brass. So, and then my blue and white, this is a piece of the barn wood. Now that barn wood, and I'm gonna point, will be going up this wall right here, all the way up and then angled over is my thought. And then maybe a piece here. That was an error that I did <laughs> right there. And I don't like it, but it happened and I just go with it. It almost looks like it almost looks like plastering, like extra plastering on the wall. And I kind of like that, but maybe when I add the wood pieces and you can see there's another wood piece up underneath my light fixture. But when I add the wood pieces, it may all make sense. There's me again, but down below, and you saw I have the stainless or the chrome light fixture. So I added this down below just to kind of mix it all together. This is my Amazon find that I will link down below. And then my heaven in one bucket, copper, brass, blue and white. Isn't it absolutely, and I'm gonna use my word that I've never used on my YouTube channel, absolutely yummy. Love it, love it, love it. So this area turned out really pretty. I still need to finish the baseboards, but if you noticed, the baseboards were this dark wood, and so I've painted them the repost gray. So the cabinetry is repost gray. The walls are alabaster white, which is throughout the entire house, and I'm slowly mixing that in throughout the whole house. Now this is the side that we've not completed, and I'll show it to you all. This is the countertop that was on the sink area. So I'm not going to keep that there. 
I will be covering that with wood. And then we wanna do a long wood shelf across this area. That will have me more display area that I can change out with seasons and not put a bunch of holes in the wall. This will be my, um, kind of like my church room. I love little churches. And in fact, these are the cat's meow churches that I, I have collected. My mother gave me a ton of them. So I think I am going to do these right here. That's sweet. And then I may put one down below. Make the the white one is so much better than I did the two up top. So this will be my church bathroom. I have a church bathroom in every home that we've had so far. So I love adding my churches throughout. So y'all come back.